All right, YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Q. I got another video for you guys today. I went into the Split Mind community tab and I looked at what you guys wanted to see me do next. And I got a lot of you guys saying that you want to see me do some hyper pop melodies again. And also, you guys want to see some beats made from scratch. So, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I would make a hyper pop melody, beat, everything from complete scratch. If you guys do not know what Hyperpop is, go ahead and look that up because I don't want to completely butcher this, but in my opinion, what it is to me is this new genre of music that is kind of EDM inspired, EDM themed, but it kind of has this like distorted aspect and most sounds are like pretty high pitched and like almost arcade sounding. And what people ended up doing is taking these Hyperpop melodies that you would hear in like Hyperpop songs and bringing them into trap music. And let me tell you, it really hits. So I'm going to open up FL Studio and we're going to get started on this. All right, so I got a completely blank FL Studio pulled up right here. I'm going to set the BPM to like 147 and I'm going to just start running through some one shots. I got this one shot right here. It's a pluck called wood. I'm going to see all I'm going to do here is just click cut itself and we're going to go try and write down a melody. I'm going to be using, I'm going to start in D sharp minor and I'm going to just lay down some triads until I find something that sounds good. So I brought it up to G minor instead, so I'm going to go into scale highlighting and change it to G minor just so we know what notes are good and in scale. And then I'm going to just continue messing with this until I get something I like a little bit. All right, cool. I like this, but it doesn't sound exactly how I want it, so I'm going to bring it to mixture track one and just process it a bit. I'm going to start out with some EQ. Let's go over to this preset right here and pull out a lot of the low end and a lot of the high end. I'm going to go to this plug in by Arturia and pull up Delay Eternity. I'm going to just use the default preset, bring the stereo width up a little bit, bring the dry wet down, and mess with this cutoff. All right, cool. So that works from now, but we're not even near finished. I'm going to open up Serum because there's usually a lot of sounds I like in Serum that have that EDM style and just you can mess with them a lot more. I got this one shot right here and I know it's going to be a little too dry for what I want. So I'm going to just be adding the same plugin right here by GHZ Megaverb. And I'm going to just mess with the filter a little tiny bit. Set this preset to A and bring down that dry wet again. And then we're going to see if we can find a cool little counter melody to go up top. So I like where we're at now. So next thing I'm going to do is just add a bass so I can fill out the rest of the melody a little better and see if I can develop some better ideas. I got this bass right here. It's a one shot. All I'm going to do is cut itself and we're just going to follow the bass note of the chord progression, which is G, F, and A. All right, so I got this one shot from Nico Baron. It's kind of like this scream. And I'm gonna see if I can add that in there. And what I'm gonna do here is I have this brass one shot, sounds like this. And I'm gonna try and do like some kind of pitch bend. EQ the sound out a bit. Some of that high end. Low end. Add a little bit of reverb just so it's not super dry. All right, so I think we can work with that. The only thing that I think that I have to add to it now is just some vocal chops. So I'm going to bring the loop into the playlist like this, and I'm going to separate by channel. And just drag that out here. 
And then I'm gonna see if I can find some vocals. Alright, so I found this vocal loop from a Carson Beats one shot kit, and all I did was track it out and add some auto tune to it, but it does not fit what I'm trying to do at all. Like it's completely out of key. I'll let you guys hear it soloed. <laughs> As you can see, it sounds really weird because of this auto-tune. But what I'm going to do is just chop it up. And what you can do with these, once you chop them up, you can click Make Unique. And then just pitch it around. And since the auto-tune's on it, it'll most likely sound good. But you might just have to mess with the pitch and kind of make it sound inky. Right, so like this, what I'm going to do is just highlight this part and hit Control b to duplicate it over. And then I'm going to just change up this last part a little bit. All right, so now we're just going to go ahead and process the vocal because I like how that sounds. So first thing I'm going to do is just EQ out some of those harsh sounds. All right, now I'm going to add Megaverb and just mess with this filter. Perfect. So I like how that sounds. So I'm going to show you how I would process the vocal as a whole. So I go to the master channel and I add this plugin called Kramer Tape. This is usually what I start with. And I pretty much leave everything the same. I'll just bring the noise up pretty much all the way. And I just mess with this and keep it uh, linked. Look how that sounds. And I should bring down that brass sound. Perfect. So next thing I'm going to add is this plugin I like using called Spectre by, Ray, by Waves. And I'm going to just mess with these. Basically what it's doing is just saturating the sound and making it sound a little Now I'm gonna save this loop. Call this caution with some random name, 143 BPM, and I save this in my December loops folder, and then I'm gonna hit Control Shift R to render this out. All right, so I got the loop pulled up in a new FL Studio session, and I got it arranged a little bit just how I want it. So first thing I'm gonna do is drag in this pattern to the eight bars, and I have it looped just so we can start doing the drums. So all the drums I'm going to be using will be from my new drum kit that I just dropped, which is my essential drum kit. So if you like any of these sounds, you already know where to go, drumify.com. I'll have that link in the bio. All right, so yeah, let's get started on the drums. So first thing I'm going to start out with is a clap. We're going to go on to the hi-hat. knob just to get a little more bounce. I'm going to go on the piano roll and just make some rolls. Alright, cool. So I like that. So I'm going to just duplicate that over for the rest of the eight bars. Route these two to a mixer track. Go to the hi hat on number nine, pull up Effectrix, and we're going to be using this reverse effect just to make some cool bounce. All right, let's try and add some snares. So I like that pattern. I'm going to duplicate these both over. And then we're just going to go straight into the 808. I'm going to be using this one called Addition from my kit. You might switch it out later. And all I'm doing is just following the root note. And then I'm going to just try and find a unique pattern. Duplicate that over and then I'm going to mess with this a little bit more. But what I'm going to do is go into the envelope settings and adjust this. Just so the 808 only plays for as long as the note is. I'm 
I'll also see if I can add a kick. Oh yeah, so I like this bounce a lot. I'm literally just going to duplicate that over four times. Quick little freestyle. I'm going straight to the top. I just bought a drop top. Watch came with the big rocks. Dancing like it's TikTok. Shorty want big cock. Fucking on with a big cock. I just rode in with a big block. Pull it on the line. I got no mileage on this bitch though. She want to fuck, she keep. What? Alright guys, you know the deal. Video is over. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. I hope you learned something new. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button and also make sure to subscribe. We're trying to be going a little bit crazy on the YouTube right now. But like I said, if you guys are looking for any new sounds, drum kits, loop kits, anything like that, make sure you head over to Drumify. I'm telling you, we got like the best sounds on the market. But that is it for this video. So I will see you guys in the next one, which should be very soon. But as for now, peace out.